Welcome to Rail Fans Canada. I'm Shane Sege. Joining me today is Opender Sadana, who's a rail instructor here at OC Transpo. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me, sir, and uh, welcome on board for uh, line two and line four. So in this part of the video, we're going to do one more scenario, and it's going to be the launch from the Albion Yard to the main line. That is correct. So we'll start the train. We'll yeah. put our key in. And we run the same right now. Our radio is on a Walkley yard. So when we have a portable radio with us, we keep that into the yard channel. This one always stays on a mainline channel. So let's put our track group one. That's it. And we always perform a radio check when we get to that signal. I will explain okay. to you when we get there. Uh, so again, we'll run from left to right. Usually when we have a train uh, ready for us, the engines are start, but this one we can start the engines again. So all DM on. All DM on. So you can see that numbers are changing here, the engine speed. If, if uh, some of the engines didn't come on, is there a minimum? Or if, if you one of the engines doesn't come on, would that be a, a no-go for that train? Or no, you can run this train even with one engine. But again, in revenue service, are we allowed or not? That's a different scenario. Mm -hmm. But these trains can be run in even with a single engine. It's just that they don't have the same power, but those can be run. Okay. It has a four different engines in there. So pretty much before we they hand over train to us in the morning, they check everything. If that train is not good to go, we operator will not be getting on that train. Okay. So superintendent gets a list from the yard controller in the morning, let's say 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock. They go through all the paperwork. Any train is not good to go, that, that won't be given to the operator. So in the morning, f operator reports to the, uh, when they come to start here at Albion Yard, they go see the superintendent and then they were issued their radios and they read all the paperwork, train keys, all the, whatever they required, they receive. They do their radio check with either mainline control or supervisor. So want to make sure that your radio is uh, functioning properly. And then with the keys, with all the stuff, they come to the train. Let's say we are on a track one right now. And when they're ready to proceed, they contact yard control. So let's activate the cab and then we will call yard control and then we'll uh, go through that scenario. Okay. Again, our doors are closed once we in, we press the button to double check and our engines are on now and then we look at the screen. We set it up in the yard, yard is a reduced speed in, our, in the yard so we want to put it forward. We don't want to go more than 10 kilometers in the yard right now. And here if we want to perform a, again reduced brake test, Let's do this one, not this one. That's we are releasing the parking brake. So to, re to do the test, let's put this one back on. So to do the reduce brake test, we go here and then we press test button. And this one, we check the, again, it's holding completely back here our test is completely so we put it back and now we go to the screen and we can apply the brake now that's it and now you can release the parking brake and you'll see the icon here sorry about that here we go okay. now we are good to proceed so at this time i would call yard control this is crc5 uh, on a track one over and yard control will say CRC5 this is yard control uh, yes you have a permission to proceed from your current position to signal 506 and we have to repeat those instructions back to yard control and he has to acknowledge so we are repeating the correct information okay and once all the information has been repeated and acknowledged by the yard control and operator then we can proceed to that signal. So our author authority is to proceed up until 506. And once we get there, I will show you what we're going to do. So let's continue, ring the bell. The rules are same, either you are in the yard or anywhere. You ring the bell before you continue. 
And then once you're moving for a little bit, then you can stop it? Yes, you can stop. But if there is any, let's say, anybody standing here or any of the movement, then we sometimes continue based on the scenario. Okay. But if there's no other train, there's nothing happening here, then I don't need to continue ringing in the bell. In the yard, we have a like a very, very like a, the, the, we cannot go on a, like a high speed in the yard. So you have to, they call a reduced speed in the yard. So we talk to yard control on a yard channel. And when we get to the signal 506, we're going to stop our train there. Have to be a minimum 50 meters of that signal. From here, main line control can see our train through the coupling coil that syst the system tells that they can read our train. Because this area is considered a non-main track and then we enter a main track from there. So I'll stop just before the signal? Yes. Sort of like when the... Uh, yep, that's good there. That's good here. So at this time, while we stop, now we pick up this radio and we call mainline control with our train with a location we call uh, CR, which is capital railway, CR mainline control. This is CRC5 at signal 506. And then mainline responded, responded like CRC5, this is CR mainline control, over. I ask about a radio check, they say 5 by 5, that loud and clear. Then I ask them like, uh, C5 is waiting for further instruction to launch or seeking a permission to enter main track. Then they give us authority C5 at this time you have a permission to proceed on signal indicate uh, uh, at signal 506 on a signal indication to Walkley station we are not connecting track and I repeat those instructions back to the main line and then they also ask like please make sure all the switches are aligned for your intended route. Once all the information is repeated back and acknowledged, and then they'll say mainline control out, C5 out, and now I'm going to ring the bell. I'm going to say this signal on the radio, C5, signal 506, proceed, and then I'll go through that. When we call mainline control, it's at the OC Transport, TOCC, or the one in Dorval in Montreal? No, uh, with the TOCC. Okay. So right now it's opened up to you 30, but because our lock is here to 10, so it's the train will not go more than that. So right now you're open to 30. So both connecting track, if there's a different speed than what they told in a daily operating bulletin, you will see it in the morning that today, because of some reason that they don't want you to follow that speed, they're going to give you a new speed. So that's what in a daily operating bulletin, they give the information that if anything is different than the normal. So here, this is a north connecting track. And now we are merging to the main track here. So the signal 504 turn now to stop. And that's going to take us to the main track here. And your speeds also changes the minute you enter that track. So the instruction was were given to us up until Walkley Station. So once we arrive to Walkley Station, then I don't need to call main line. I will just follow the signal indication. And then proceed as normal. Yes, whatever uh, signal. If the signal says restricted speed or slow speed, based on that signal indication, I will just uh, follow that.
in the morning lot of time we do the sweep trip so the sweep trip is done uh, before the service therefore we don't pick up any customer at that time that starts before the in service time so come to 25 years approaching station and during sweep slow down slow down here we go so every time eb happens we need to call main line and then get a permission to release the eb uh, no upper one here we go so ring the bell let's align it so if it was a sweep trip i don't need to stop on the stations uh, you still have to wait for the air pressure to build up if the oh, air okay. pressure is going up so in the morning when we do sweep trip on a different uh, area of the track we don't pick up if there's any customer pre revenue service we don't pick up those customers we just go to the sweep and then when the uh, the in service time kicks in and then we open the door and start picking up the customers okay also the sweep trip even though the speed opens up to 80 the sweep trip we are not allowed to go over 50 km so that's a rule that we keep it for a 50 and then during station uh, we go on uh, 25 so we're going to dim the light we have another stage in the train yeah and also we're going to ring the bell because the train is stopped So at this time they also can give you instruction of the sweep trip that how far they want us to perform the sweep. Some train will go all the way to the Bayview to Lime Bank. If your train is let's say fourth or fifth, they just want you to sweep one station, and that would be all. Okay. And then once you get to Munis Bay, let's say our instruction were that just do the sweep up until Munis Bay station. At Munis Bay, we'll call back mainline control. That control. a uh, sweep has been done from uh, signal 506 north connecting track to munis bay station northbound and uh, everything is safe for normal normal operation and then just follow their instruction so i guess we'll bring it into munis bay station and we'll uh yes leave it there yeah so just watch your speed because now you're on a downgrade it's going to come fast very that's good that you're using the system now ring the bell So here we report back and then they can say okay maybe another 5 minutes before they start the service that we open the door and wait for your time and when the time starts for the in service then you run the regular service the way you would do it okay. and that's pretty much it Great well thank you for showing us this You're morning welcome, and sir. launch scenario for O train line 2 yep. and I suppose line 4 as well Yes line 2 and line 4